is pretty nippy. Woo! This is fantastic. Tell you what guys, today is actually a really fun day. I never thought I'd see the day that I'll be driving a Ferrari. In fact, this one is a Testa Rossa, which is a legendary Le Mans car from Ferrari that's won many races. And I'm driving one of them today. Look at them. Well, I lie a little bit. This is the Testa Rossa J, and that's the original version. And that's the new uh, Paco Garo version, which is a nod to that legendary Le Mans car. And uh, there's a lot to talk about. It looks fantastic. What do you guys think straight away? I think I'm excited to drive this and actually get on the track as well to put this to the test to see how it drives. It's improved. It's got a little bit more power. It's not 14 kilowatts in instead of the old 12 kilowatts. Let's start with the front of the car. We can see we have those spotlight there, which is a nod to that legendary uh, 250 from back in the day, which looks actually sporty. I love it. On the side, we get the side mirror as well, which is really cool. And on the front here, this tire here, we actually have this perforated brake disc so it's a brembo brake disc from a ducati so you know that this is going to hold very well when it comes to braking and then going from the back to the front we have a roll cage here which is also detachable which means if you have an estate where you want to drive this and you don't want this there you want it to look more car like then you can take that off if you want and then we have our removable tunnel cover here which again is a nod uh which means also when you get in here it just gives you that feeling that it's a single driver kind of situation like the le mans car and then we come to the front here, we've got the Manatino switch, which is again, something that's just kind of new on the Ferrari cars. So you switch, but on this one, uh, we get to switch between novice, comfort, sport, and race. And what's also cool is this can actually come out. So it's a key that allows you to lock the power level into place. So if you were to have a junior driving this, you don't want to give them the full power, you can lock it into whatever mode you want, remove the key and they can't switch that off. Uh, they can't switch different modes at all. And then we get our normal gauge here, which is pretty cool. And then this steering is also pretty cool as well. It's actual Nardi steering, which means you can actually detach this completely like so. And it's got this nice wooden finish as well. Really love it. And in case you haven't gathered, these are fully electric and it's got a removable battery, so they're interchangeable. So if you run out of that 100 kilometers range that this can actually do on a normal driving uh, situation, you can just park it up, swap the battery, takes a few minutes and off you go, you can go again. And charging this will take around six hours to fully charge it back to full battery. And top speed on this, you're looking at 55 miles per hour, which is pretty decent, especially on this fully aluminum body. So this is pretty lightweight. So it's gonna do some top speed in this. And then we'll put this back into place just locks into place like that so you can remove it to get it in there very easily and then we get this uh, golden switch here which is um, really nice as well it means you can switch the brake bias as well so you can adjust different things while i'm here as well you can also adjust the dampers uh so for different driving mode whatever you're feeling like doing and then if you look down there if you look at the pedal that's from the ferrari f8 for example so if you have one of those already straight away you notice what that, those pedals are and then we get four point seat belt as well which looks really nice very sporty it gives you that racing element uh, for the car as well so you can put your foot down and get some speed out of this and we get a little detail like this little leather buckle here which again gives a nod to the old uh le mans car it looks fantastic i love it look at it if i have a spare 100 grand to spend i think i'd go for something like this they're only going to be making 299 versions of this uh you know between them so if you're lucky you might be able to pick one up uh so get in there very quickly the little car company have worked with ferrari they've worked with some of the engineers back in marinello and uh yeah this is what they came up with. And it's 75% of scale of the original version. I think there's only one thing left to do. So take it on track and actually see what this is actually capable of. Let's go. So let's talk about some numbers here again. So we're looking at top speed of 55 miles per hour. Um, and this is a 19 horsepower, kind of powerful, no? For a, such a lightweight car, 19 horsepower is more than plenty. And top speed of 55 miles per hour, we see you whizzing around a track like this, <laughs> like nobody's business. And uh, you can adjust the, you can adjust the dampers, you can adjust the brake bias as well, which is something that's pretty cool. It's not something you see very often in anything. So to have this in. A little car company, Ferrari, is uh, pretty impressive. Ah, man. I think uh, if you're gonna be driving this though, you're gonna have to drive it on a good day like this when it's nice and sunny and it's not raining because as you can see, we have no cover on this. I don't know if they have some sort of cover that you can buy, I'm not sure. So you can drive it on the road, not on the road, but like when it's raining, but 
yeah, it's pretty, look at it. It's, uh, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> and this is currently in uh, race mode as well. So you can go into sports, comfort, um, novice as well. So it depends on what mode you put it in, but obviously race will mean that you go full power, like we can do here, like, you know, you can go. Woo! <laughs> it's pretty nippy. You can put your foot down and the handling is actually pretty good. You can, you can tell they've worked with the, the Ferrari engineers to make sure that this is up to par with what you'd get in the real thing. It's pretty good. Tell you what though, <laughs> it's pretty windy. Woo! This is fantastic. Oh, the brakes are excellent as well. Really good brakes. But I think all in all, this is fantastic. I think if you have a hundred grand or so to spend on something like this, then why not? And you've got a piece of land, you know, where you can actually enjoy driving something like this, and why not? Um, I think Little Car Company, they've done a great job. Um, for such a car, they've done a great job, I think. But that's it for the Ferrari Testarossa J, J for Junior. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, would you spend a hundred grand on this if you had it? Let me know. And uh, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for more. And we shall see you in the next one. Subscribe and smash the bell notification. Thanks for watching.